I need the real you to be authentic. Will the real you please stand up? This question is asked a lot with single people when I'm talking to singles. The first thing they say, why isn't that people can't keep it real with me? That's my biggest problem when it comes to dating. They were like this when I first met them. Six months later to a year, they changed up and I fell in love with who they were opposed to who they actually are. So now I feel bamboozled. So this is why I'm going to discuss this. I want to talk about a couple of different things because think about it. Being your authentic self, you really don't have to wear a mask, right? I mean, you're comfortable with who you are, but once you go on a date and there's somebody that you're truly interested in and you like, I don't want to blow this one. You have a tendency to try to uh, put on your, your Macy salesperson, right? Because you just, you don't want to blow this opportunity because you really like this person. And then in the back of your head, you're thinking, is this person really going to like me for who I am? All these different things playing in your head. So you, of course, you're trying to be on your best behavior. You know, they talk about, uh, your first impression, right? I think that's very important. But really being your authentic self, I think that comes with time. I think you have to know someone in different seasons of life, you know, the whole winter, summer, spring, fall thing. I think you need to know someone over time because that's when you get to really see who they truly are in different situations. Because check this out, we live in this age where everybody's a swipe away. So we really don't take the necessary time to get to know someone. So we go on one date with the person and they could have, I mean, one thing could have thrown you off and it wasn't even really that bad, but you're done. You're like, oh, I'm about to swipe. I'm done with this person. I'm done. You know, we really don't give people a chance to even really be themselves, right? So in this swipe culture that we live in, we just easily discard people let's talk about this about putting on your macy sales representative that's that's what i like to call it your macy sales representative it's when you're talking to somebody and you just know you're on your best behavior and you're, you're trying to sell yourself you know in hopes of this person liking you now i will say this because when you're dating sometimes you give away too much too soon in dating when you talk about what you're looking for I think that's an issue too, because you can say, you know, you're, you're, you're talking and you know, y'all went to dinner or whatever, y'all hanging out. And first thing you ask is, well, what is it that you're looking for in a potential uh, significant other? Or, you know, what are you looking for in a potential spouse, right? You ask this question and then they start to tell you all of these things. I'm looking for a man that's kind. I'm looking for a man that's this, 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 this. So you start throwing out all these things and in their head, because they really, really like you, they're gonna become everything that you're looking for. Now, I think that could be an error at times, but I do think it's better to just say, me personally, I like this or I like that. You know, I like certain things, I like to read. You know, you don't have to be really detailed, but you could just kind of give them just a glimpse of who you are as a person opposed to saying that everything that you're looking for, because there's a difference. So you have to leave it up to that person to kind of figure you out like, all right, so, all right, they like this, they like that. So now they have to figure you out opposed to trying to put on this Macy sales representative to uh, fit the mold and what you're looking for when that's really not them. Now, remember, everybody wants to be accepted. Everybody wants to be, uh, cared for and loved and stuff like that so we're always trying to put our best foot forward and over time i think some people lose themselves right they get caught up in trying to make this person happy opposed to just really being them and that's when the relationship goes south because you're trying to please this person and it's really not who you are i just really believe that true love is just letting somebody be who they are with they with their quirks and the idiosyncrasies, all the little different things that they are. I just think that's that's really true love. It's like, you know what? We might not think the same on everything. We have a lot of similarities, but it's okay. They can think different. They've had different experiences. 
everything don't have to always align with the way I want things to know. And the truth of the matter is being with somebody that's different than you, it really broadens your perspective on life. You know, usually when it's just you, you just got this laser beam focus. All you know is your life and the things that you've been through. But you get someone else involved in your life who you love and care for, and they start giving you a different vantage point. It just opens you up to so much more. Uh, and then you learn not to be so judgmental about things because you're just looking at life through your lens. So allow that person to be who they are. Now, if y'all can rock together, if, if, if you can be individuals and still be able to rock together, I think that's a beautiful thing. You know, relationships are give and take, like everything just can't be about you at the end of the day. You gotta be able to give of yourself as well and to be able to see things from their perspective. Now, I do hear this, especially with my sisters, I hear this a lot, like the biggest complaint is just keep it real with me. You know, just tell me what you want up front. Just keep it real with me, just be honest. Look, you will be surprised with what some people are okay with. So I do think in this day and age, it's okay to just be upfront with what you want. I want this, you know, fill in the blank. I want that. And some people will rock with it. They'll be like, wow, shoot. I thought you would never ask. I wanted the same thing, you know? So don't be afraid to just be honest about what you want. So that way you aren't wasting people's time. And I think sometimes when we put on our Macy salesperson, it's because we don't want to lose that person and we want to try to, keep them in our stable if you will right we don't want to lose this person because it's like well if i can like this person if i can like him or her then um i can still you know kind of talk to other people too because we're just friends so now i got this whole i guess people call it stable i don't know i guess by today's dating standards <laughs> you know but just be honest about what, what you want and it's okay with that and don't be afraid to lose that person but a lot of times we be trying to keep people you know, let that person go, let them live their life. You don't have to try to keep everybody that's being selfish uh, because they could have been with somebody else, but here it is, you're playing the game, trying to keep somebody. And you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's not gonna go anywhere, but you just wanna keep them, you know, just in case. So I don't think that's fair to, to those that you are dating. So don't be afraid to lose that person because you don't see eye to eye or y'all don't y'all don't have the same things what you're looking for one person might be looking for marriage other person might just be looking for a one night stand and it's you know chances are it's just not might not work so i think those are some of the things when it comes to being authentic uh in relationships and well in dating in particular because a lot of times like i say we're trying to be the best person possible um just to be your authentic self if you do that i believe you will never lose being who you are as a person and a lot of times people get lost in relationships when they try to be somebody that they're not trying to make someone else happy